So we, I think we have to step back uh, to, to what is an RNA. Okay. So uh, you have um, the, the hardware uh, of your computer would be the DNA. The, the equipment of your computer, maybe your screen or your, uh, um, your keyboard and all this stuff, will be your protein, okay? So, within, in between, you have the RNA. And typically, the messenger RNA from which you go to this. And you eventually can get reverse. You have, if you have reverse transcriptase, uh, you do have the capacity of changing the mRNA into DNA. Okay, so this is just to give you an, uh, a view of where stands the RNA. And mRNA plus other RNA are a great connectivity of the system. You remember, I told you you have the hardware, you have the keyboard, the monitors, but now you need the connectivity to one another. All the strings, all, the, all, all these little wires that go to one another, and this is this level, the connectivity of the system, okay? So it's a fantastic and powerful level. That's why I have been working on this level <laughs> uh, for some time. And now if you uh, are to inject um, an mRNA, uh, the mRNA, uh, uh, so you're not injecting, uh, so th the reality is that you're injecting an mRNA within a capsule which is a, a greasy capsule okay mm -hmm. this is called a na nanoparticle nanolipids. yeah the yeah. nanolipids exactly the nlps and so 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 we are talking of the nlps here and you are talking of the mrna here okay normally any cells would be in the capacity of accepting your NLPs because they are composed of, of lipids themselves and so there is this uh, uh, capacity of the NLPs uh, to uh, reach out the different cells uh, without being noticed as a virus, without being noticed by your immune system as something, so it, it is uh, it seems that uh, the NLPs from their, their uh, report is yet recognized as something toxic. So you get some kind of uh, um, r response, but not a response that you typically get from a vaccine. This is one of the reasons why we cannot call them vaccines, because they don't work as a vaccine. They really work independently in the sense that they are not recognized by your body for some time, uh, uh, for forever actually, as a uh, foreign virus uh, on which you need to um, have a, a such or such uh, immune response. Okay? So, uh, what I wanted to explain uh, to you as well is that it is not any kind of mRNA. And mRNA is normally composed of an alphabet of three letters, A, U, G, C. This is at the RNA level, that at the DNA level is A, T, G, C. Okay? No matter what, this is the classic alphabet for RNA. Here, this synthetic piece is not uh, relying on this alphabet, but on that alphabet, A Y G C. No U. Every single U was replaced by a Y, meaning that your cells receive now something that they've never heard of, they've never seen, they've never uh, encountered, whether in, uh, in plants, whether in, uh, in animals, there is no such thing as a full alphabet on the whole string of information that is AYGC. You just understand 
from this so explanation that we have loads of questions but no answers. <laughs>